Hi guys, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is just a reading for your weekend. And also, you guys are not crazy if you've been feeling some type of weird shift or just a lot coming up right now. Because there is definitely something going on in the energy. We're in the middle of Mercury retrograde and we're just about to enter into 2018. And so... No doubt about it, we are in the birth canal, heading towards 2018 and rebirth, and we are being squeezed, and we are feeling this, and it's rough. <laughs> so let's just get some messages about this, and um, hopefully I'm going to help you guys out, and help myself out. <laughs> so let's see what wants to come out. Interesting. I've been seeing this card a lot lately. Um, I'm wanting to turn to it in the guidebook, but my first impression is really telling me this is about the coming together of two polar opposites. I get this card a lot for like soulmates or people who are about to meet someone significant in their life. It's like a whole new energy, a whole new passion um, coming into your life. This could also be talking about the reawakening of your creativity, the re reawakening of your sensuality the reawakening of your divine passion, the reawakening of your natural like nurturing and healing abilities. So anything in that, if that's resonating, um, is kind of what's happening right now. Some of you guys are in a really sticky situation. Um, you're really craving change. Um, you're not happy with the influences you're surrounded by and you're wanting to um, kind of slither away and... Um, you know, go somewhere where these clouds can part and you can feel like more settled and like on top of things again. And um, this card is also talking about like leadership abilities. Like you've been realizing recently that you have like these particular leadership abilities and you're wanting to use them more and um, just wanting to be on top of the situation. This card is talking about your destiny. So... Whenever I get this card, it's it's saying, like, pay attention, pay attention, because as within, so without, as above, so below. Like, the universe is going to mirror to you what you are. So that's why you continuously want to be working on yourself and really checking yourself. And, um, you know, the last time I did a QA, and a I, I said in one of the middle of one of my readings, check yourself before you wreck yourself. But um, if for real, that this is kind of what this card is. It's like check yourself before you wreck yourself. And so maybe in all of this energy, you're feeling emotional. Maybe you're wanting to make these sudden changes. But they're saying like right now, the energy is more for um, like developing your skills. Like there's still some projects and some things that need to be finished. Um, but there's definitely some new energy coming in. So it's very interesting. Let's see if I can pull some more cards on this energy that I've just been feeling the past couple days. What's going on with this energy? Okay, that wants to come out. Definitely. Oh my gosh. I keep seeing these same cards, you guys. This is the card that I used for the cover of this photo, and look, it's coming out. This one has been coming out so much. So, um, this is saying stay dedicated to your freedom. It's like you have this desire to be free, to be unchained, to, um, express your authenticity, like, in the fullest way. And they're saying you need to stay dedicated to this path, to being you. You've tried so many different ways and so many different paths in your life. And maybe you're feeling like none of them really like um, were meant for you or like you just haven't found it yet. But they're saying like you're finding a whole new creative way right now to walk your path and it's working for you. So a message is coming through that doing things in your own unique way no matter how strange, is always going to work better for you. So just do you, is what they're saying. So um, you've got this desire, um, but it's like reverse. So maybe you're holding yourself back from your freedom. Maybe you're holding yourself back from your soul's desires. And there's like, this is this emotion and this energy that's coming up is like the catalyst for this change for you. So um, first of all, they're saying that you're safe. 
there's greater forces at work here than you would um, know that are holding you in this whole situation together. And there's a plan. <laughs> so they're saying to surrender your will. And um, when you surrender your will, it's just allowing anything that wants to leave your life to just leave. And like whatever wants to come in, to just like let it come in and like accept it and allow it and welcome it. And so they're just saying like allow this shift and these transitions right now. Um, there is a lot of opportunity coming. This talks about business opportunities, um, but it also talks about love opportunities because the salmon talks about like, you know, uh, swimming upstream in order to connect with your mate. Like sometimes it's quite a journey and um, a, a cycle that you go through in order to uh, make this connection. And I'm also seeing a need to stay grounded and be like more playful right now because of course there's this water here and, and you have this ability to go down into this emotion if you want. It's right there. But they're saying right now it's better for you to stay grounded. It's better for you to be playful and to um, embrace your playful energy, your carefree energy and like find little ways to free yourself and free your spirit right here, right now. If that's something that you really want to attract into your life. So, um, in short, they're saying you need to fly above these emotional waters and, um, and focus on, like, see things from a bigger perspective, um, and think about, like, where these energies are taking you, like, realize, like, this is a lot of change, like, this is just the end, the culmination of 2017, which was a huge year for everyone of healing and, um, just of healing. <laughs> so, um... Let's pull some more cards. Where is all this energy taking us? That's the question. Like, where, like, what is this energy, like, developing into? That's the question. Where is this energy taking us? Oh, my gosh. Ecstasy. So, it's taking us. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to read this from the book, okay? Five of Vessels. So, this energy is taking us. Um... It says, many avenues are open to the wanderer to commune intimately and ecstatically with great beauty or to be intoxicated by an intensely personal connection with the divine. Music, meditation, art, love, dancing, or a profound sexual experience can inspire and induce the sacred trance of enlightening ecstasy. This powerful and euphoric awareness is utterly natural and a well-established aspect of shamanic traditions. States of ecstatic trance can sometimes be triggered by extreme physical exertion or the, oh my god, I can't even read that word, you guys, the question, <laughs> the questions of the superficial consciousness, so as to gain access to a deeper and more profound comprehension of everything. Sadly, the concept of spiritual ecstasy has been damaged by the common use of drugs that imitate for a short time the endorphin rush of an authentic and natural ecstasy. The ecstatic trance has been described as a delightful possession or a mysterious union with a timeless exuberance. The fusing of the spiritual being with the profound and loving universal mind elevates the soul to the space between spaces where poetry breathes through you and exaltation and stillness effortlessly coexist. So take a screenshot if you want to read that again. It's very interesting. Um, this book is so deep. Oh my god. <laughs> but... In short, this card is talking about just like feeling enlightened, feeling awake, feeling um, just full of life. And um, usually it talks about like a soulmate or like a twin flame or like a, a connection with um, just a, like someone in your like a romantic connection is what I'm trying to say, like a romantic connection. And I feel like a lot of people have been looking for that and it just hasn't quite been that season yet, but there's a lot coming and um and so I'm starting to see a lot of messages about your love life, actually. It's been career so much lately and um, a lot of stuff with like, like just, you know, relationship issues, maybe not romantic relationships, but in general, um, a lot coming up about work. But now we're starting to see a lot coming up about love. So um, let's see where else this energy is taking us. Oh my gosh, see? I, I can just tell there's been a lot coming on about love life. I've been seeing these cards so much lately. So the forest lovers, it's talking about how out of death can come rebirth. And so um, maybe it's the ending of something for you, but the beginning of something else. 
Um, this could be talking about some of you guys who've had breakups, who've, who are, because I did see this reversed at first, so I'm thinking like maybe some of you guys are actually on the other side of this where maybe you're, you're finding that you're your own soulmate. Like this is, this journey for you is part of you coming out of this um, situation and into like a self-love for yourself and um, you know, romancing yourself <laughs> as your own soulmate, getting to know yourself, um, taking time on your own. Um, maybe some of you guys who've been single for like a while, um, they're, they're wanting you to put yourself back out there, but still like romance yourself and realize like this period of growth by yourself has been for a reason and you don't have to feel like you're not worthy or that you're not attractive or something. It's just meant to be in this cycle. Um, but they're saying you need to face your fears when it comes to your love life. Like you're worthy to have what you truly desire. Um, you have des your desires for a reason and you're worthy to be fulfilled in this area of your life. And if you're not fulfilled in this area of your life, then you can take steps to make this happen. Um, obviously with Mercury retrograde, you don't want to push like at something too hard. Um, you want to just kind of go with the flow and allow things, but um, it's a good time to revisit your love life and think like what needs to give here? Like what um, do I need to work on? Or like if you're with a current partner, maybe there's um, some confusion around you guys and there's a way to like reconnect and um, to build together. They're saying that this winter that's been around you, the snow is thawing and now you're able to um, get your footing and look ahead to the coming season to think like, how am I going to build this nest or this home or this, um, how am I going to, you know, create this, this life that's going to serve me, um, in the next way on the next frequency. So, um, next we're going to pull just a couple more cards about where this energy is leading us. And then I'm going to ask if there's anything we can do to like help, like flow with this energy better. So first... Just anything else about where this energy is leading us. <laughs> it says we've been really restless lately and it's been hard for us to stay inspired and to stay active and to stay motivated. And I've been feeling this. Um, I mean, I've, I've definitely been um, working really hard on your personal readings and I have had photo shoots and stuff for my other job, but... I don't know, I just haven't been feeling as creative, like wanting to paint or wanting to dance or wanting to write or just wanting to be in the moment. Like I've been feeling restless and in my head a lot and I feel like a lot of you guys have too. Like have you been worrying or overthinking? I've been doing that and I've been catching myself and I haven't even been feeling like I want to meditate but I've been trying really hard so there's like this frustration energy and I feel it you guys, I feel this energy. <laughs> And um, they're saying it's so important for us right now to stay grounded and to use our creativity, like not to avoid the worst thing to do right now is to avoid our creativity, like all of these emotions and like things that are coming up and like the energies we're experiencing, we're supposed to be like channeling this and like just kind of flowing it into our, our work and staying grounded and focused. So, um, and I feel like it's taking us to a more creative place. Like ultimately this energy is going to take us to a place where it's, we're going to be able to feel more creative and more in alignment with what it is we're supposed to be doing at this time. So, um, why don't we ask my goddess deck, like, the same questions. Like, what is the deal with this energy? Like, what's going on? What is going on, you guys? So, a lot of reversals because I feel like this energy is just really intense. And um, they're saying we need to have boundaries right now. Like, I feel like a lot of people are getting ready to make rash decisions and you just need to have boundaries. They're saying love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. And maybe this is with the holidays. Um, maybe some of you guys are dealing with some family members or with some people in your community or just like something like that friends where like it's stressful and you're not really feeling comfortable with the energy coming through and they're saying to love yourself enough to say no and um 
Because right now they're saying it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. But the problem is there's a lot of stuff coming up from the past and like there's this need to perhaps have boundaries with some people around us. So it's like this weird energy because it's like you're supposed to be starting new things. You're supposed to be thinking about like, you know, obviously like your goals for the new year and whatever, your resolutions or just, you know, trying to get ready for this new energy coming in. But there's a lot coming up from the past because, like, a lot's up for review right now with Mercury Retrograde. And there's a need to have boundaries with other people who are probably just freaking out because of Mercury Retrograde. So they're saying there's a way for you to be supportive, you know, to others. Um, but, like, to remember to be supportive for yourself first. You know, that way you don't have to be resentful um, when you're helping people. That way you can do it, like, when you truly feel like it and from that, you know, pure heart space. So, um, where's this energy taking us? <laughs> Endings and beginnings. Okay, you guys, I'm going to read this to you. This is like a little message from Kali. It says... I sing praises to those whose hearts accept the universal order, which only appears to be chaotic and ever-changing. In actuality, everything is designed down to the smallest detail to be in perfect operation. The dance of the universe is a happy one, with energy swirling and twirling in a never-ending celebration of life itself. Join this dance, dear one, and enjoy the remarkable journey of the weavings of the story of your life. Do not fear what appears to be a change or a loss. It's only the transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. Embrace it as evidence that you're alive. Embrace your deepest emotions as a signal of your true human essence. Well, that's definitely another way to look at it, isn't it? <laughs> They're just saying, like, what's happening around you, like... You've been dreading this change and it's just like so dramatic, but they're saying like, what if it actually worked out? What if everybody involved with this change, like what if it worked out for everyone and it was like smooth and like the pieces fell into place and like what if the universe was like orchestrating this whole thing and it was like part of your destiny? I don't know. I'm just saying like, what if? Maybe look at it that way and just try that this time. See if it helps. And you realize, like, there really is no reason to worry. But we still worry because we're still human. And we still got that whole reptilian part of our brain. We still have an ego. So, you know, our ego personalities are going to get involved and freak us out sometimes. And it's up to us to just be open and to realize that the old must be released so that the new can enter. It says, out of the mud and out of the muck grows a beautiful lotus. And that's exactly what is happening to you right now. This rebirth. The lotus is growing out of the mud and the muck. So, um, I'm going to clear you guys with the selenite wand because I'm just like feeling that right now. Just take some deep breaths and this is going to help clear your third eye and, um, your heart chakra and just like your solar plexus and, um, yeah, these are all areas I feel like are really needing help right now, especially the solar plexus there we go deep breaths and then um let's see what we can do to flow through this energy how can we flow through this energy <laughs> of course <laughs> I really feel like one of the reasons I'm here is to help encourage other artists because um, I naturally just find myself wanting, just being obsessed with people I meet who are amazing artists and uh, most of my friends are artists, I'm an artist and um, a lot of people here on this channel are artists, you know, why else do you think that you guys are so sensitive and so emotional and so clairvoyant? I mean, you have these beautiful artistic gifts and a lot of these emotions that are coming in, like you're supposed to be channeling it into your art. So obviously, like, be present with yourself, like through what you're going through, but um, take it as a blessing and, and, you know, go and write that song or do a dance or... <laughs> Um, you know, write the poem um, or make the painting and um, or write that screenplay. 
or build that project and it's going to help you release these energies so they're saying express yourself through creative activities so um is there anything else we can do that's going to help us flow through this energy know that we're safe and protected the same forces that you know orchestrated stonehenge are the same forces that are watching and guiding over you and your life. And so um, they're saying don't doubt the universe and be humbled by its presence. And that's why you got to go out into nature sometimes to humble yourself. For real. <laughs> go out into nature. It'll humble you. It really will. Let's see what else. Oh my god. The seer. They're like, you know what's coming. You've been you've you've received visions, you've you've had signs, you've been having intuitions. Um they're saying it's time to surrender your will. It's time to face your fears. <laughs> your destiny is coming. Something to do with your love life. Go with the flow. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope that helps you guys. I'm like, I'm ready for this. So um, let's see what's going on this weekend. <laughs> I'm like, anyways. Yeah, there's a lot of energy coming through. Take good care of yourself. And what's been helping me is um, lots of self-care. I've been taking long baths. And um, I don't know, something about using a face mask, you guys. It just feels fancy. It just helps me feel like I'm really doing the whole self-care thing. So try a face mask. And um, <laughs> it makes everything better again. <laughs> get out into the sun. Get your vitamin D. Um, eat healthy. Stay away from that junk food, you guys. If you want to try something, be in your body. Take a bite. Eat, the, eat a piece. Really enjoy it. Don't dissociate, you know, and eat handfuls and handfuls till you're sick. <laughs> this is some of my best advice for you guys right now. This is this is literally what's coming through, but some things that have been helping me personally. Um, yoga. Do a little bit of yoga. Stretch yourself. Wear yoga socks. They're fun. <laughs> so this weekend. What's going on this weekend? So this weekend, they're saying it's time to make a decision to leave this difficult time behind. Maybe this has to do with some of the energy you've been feeling. Have you guys just been off your routine, off your schedule a little bit? <laughs> they're saying it's, it's time to, to allow yourself to relax and to gracefully realize you can gracefully flow through whatever this is right now. That you need to have respect for yourself and your journey and where it's taken you so far. Have respect for yourself. This is so important along your journey. Um, when you change the way that you see yourself, the way other people see you changes as well. The way the world reacts to you changes. Remember we talk a lot on the channel about as within, so without, as above, so below? Well, this is really extremely important to ensure that you're respecting yourself on your journey. So take, take the time to realize, you know, did you make it through a difficult time in your life before? Were there miracles and synchronicities and people that came along your path to help you and to guide you and to support you? You have to remember, you're never alone. The universe always sends someone. And um, they're saying, have respect and realize like you have manifested things into your life before you've been successful before you've made intentions and you've anchored them down into the 3d before and you can do it again this is not the time on your path to get discouraged this is the time to gather your energy and to think of new ideas and how you're going to move forward 
you're going to be going on a new path. They're wanting you to get ready. Um, I've been predicting moves for a lot of people, <laughs> but maybe it's more metaphoric for some of you guys. The movement's more metaphoric. It's like a soul journey. It's like moving from a space of like um, insecurity to a space of um, feeling more authentic, feeling like it's okay to be yourself and to express yourself and to try new things, feeling like maybe you don't have to justify yourself to people anymore and explain your whole shebang maybe you can just be and exist and that's enough maybe being you is just enough and maybe that's what your new path is all about it's just taking that step into the unknown and trusting so um this is a card that's talking about clouds the clouds in your head and in your mind um that were keeping you from moving forward before are parting and you've got really strong footing here. Um, the pine tree is a symbol of strength and balance. And the hawk is a sign of optimism and um, vitality and um, good news. And so um, things are getting better. I definitely see this, this, this weekend, like you're gonna be feeling strong. You're gonna be feeling comfortable in your own skin. And whatever issue it was we were discussing before, they're saying the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So let's see like what's being supported this weekend. What should we like use our energy on this weekend? That's what I always want to know. Like that's probably the first question I ask my tarot when I wake up in the morning is like, what should I do today? <laughs> I like to listen to myself and to my intuition first, of course. Um, it's funny, I find I don't draw as much from the tarot anymore because for myself, because I'm learning how to listen to my intuition more, but sometimes if I'm lost, I'll go ask the tarot, like, what should I do? And it will always tell me, like, kind of what activities are being supported by the energies. So let's ask that. What activities this weekend are being supported by the energies? Okay. It's like we're gonna feel better. I just see I just see that like we're gonna feel better by the weekend, which is making me so happy. <laughs> we're gonna feel better because like something's coming through. Like there's this fulfillment card. That's pretty cool. The morning card is reversed. I always like to see this card reversed. And the, the injustice card is reversed. So we've got the reversal of mourning, and we've got justice. And so um I want to say there's trying to tell you, like, do whatever it is that makes you happy this weekend. Do whatever it is that make, that fulfills you. They're definitely supporting going out into nature, of course, if you can get out into nature. I've actually been out in nature so much lately that I need to, like, take a break. Like, I have cuts and stuff, like, all over me because <laughs> I've been adventuring a little too much recently. So I might not be going out into nature this weekend, but I hope that you guys enjoy yourselves. Um... Let's see what else I can get for activities that are supported for this week. Oh, weekend. The cave! I knew I was going to see this card. There's a lot that wants to move forward right now, you guys. But we're still in the cave. We're still in the cave. And the cave means that, like, you're kind of the caterpillar that has gone into the cocoon to become the butterfly. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of introspection. It's a time of, like, solitude. There's a lot of energy that's interplaying with you. And it's it's a time where you kind of got to just allow these changes. So I'm going to read this from the book so you guys can have a better understanding of this card and the week this weekend. But we've been going through this energy for about a month now. It comes out for me every day and I'm I don't know this this energy is one of the hardest ones for me to handle so let's discuss this the bear card says the only thing in life that is assured is that if you wait long enough it will change how you survive that change and who you are after it is up to you the major element in this process is judgment of yourself and others this may relate to an assessment regarding a personal matter or situation and could be linked to the process of forgiving. It may also relate to a group or social decision. In the process of judgment, both as an individual and on the universal level, honesty is key. Be honest, be forgiving, be patient, but most of all, be assured change is at hand. Remember, the universe has a long memory. Nothing is ever forgotten. Interesting, right? 
So this card stands for renewal. It stands for like an inescapable truth. It stands for like karma, like like things being balanced in time, um, like cosmic law. And I love it. It says um, the sleep of the just. I love that. The sleep of the just. Um, nothing is forgotten. And so, yeah, reaping what has been sown. It's kind of like this omen. And it's pointing towards um, this, the archer card here. And I'm wanting to draw another card. It has to do with... has to do with like your sense of groundedness and your safety. It says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So um, I see this as just like a time of worry, a time of indecision a little bit. This There's like some of that coming up this weekend. But overall, they're saying like it's best for you to kind of stay inside. Um, there's, um, you know, go out into nature, relax, um, catch up with your friends and whatnot. But like you might be feeling a little bit more like being in the cave this weekend and not wanting to do as much as you originally thought. So just be aware of that. And um, also there's just some big changes that are coming. Like this energy is not to be taken lightly. Um, you're needing to kind of rest and be very zen and, um, you know, not um, like calm the anxieties you might be feeling around this time. So like whatever you need to do, they're saying, and like they want you to know you're safe and like, these are good changes, happy changes, like, <laughs> you know, everything's rising in frequency. So, um, let's see what else, um, any, any other news this weekend, anything else we should be aware of this weekend? Some people are worried about their finances. Um, I, you know, around the holidays, you tend to kind of overextend yourself sometimes. So they're saying, um, <clears throat> be creative. And especially as we head into the new year, think of different ways to stir the pot. Um, you never realize how lucrative like a little side business could be, you know? Um, so trust your insight and your instinct. I received the insight to start this channel and now I have a lot of funding, uh, funding for my eco fashion stuff I'm doing, so. And I have funding to get my nails did now. So, yep, this is great. Um, I think that you guys should be open. And that's what this message is saying. Like, be open to, um, like, the little ways that you could um, find to stir the pot. And um, those of you guys who aren't having issues with abundance, um, I feel like this is a message um, to continue, to continue to stir the pot. Like there's a lot going in. I feel like actually there's a lot of people right now that are being gifted a lot of abundance. Like a lot of money's coming in and you're like, wow, this is crazy. And um, I know there's a lot of stocks right now that are rising and like um, some people might be like doing really well with the stocks. And I know that I've had some recent success there. And I'm like, wow, what's happening? Like, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm feeling like something really interesting is that this, there, yeah, there's a lot of abundance coming in to support um, some of us with our creative goals. This card is saying endurance. I, I feel this need to kind of just make it past this weekend. Um, they're saying just make it past this weekend. The energy's shifting. Um, this has a lot to do with... Um, the Saturn and the Sagittarius thing that's happening right now. It's like going into a new sign. And so I know there's a lot of planets shifting right now. And so I'm feeling like that's what's happening. Um, some of you guys aren't actually doing so well with the abundance. Like my other group over here. It, it's like I'm seeing this card of like overextending yourself and having this hard time and like worried about something. But it's reversed. They're saying there's going to be some kind of divine intervention. Or maybe you have some type of big idea, some type of project, or like you want to go back to school, or you want to like start this thing, or um, you want to have another child, or you want to just something. You're trying to manifest something really big, and you're worried about money, and they're saying don't worry because the divine has some really crazy ways to get you money. And um, 
I learned how to manifest money and it's awesome, you guys. Like you really can just pray for cash and it will come. <laughs> it, like when you realize how simple all of this is, like your intention, your willpower, it's it just gets kind of ridiculous. You realize that you are your own obstacle. So they're saying like, pull up your willpower, be willing to make changes. For now, just have endurance. Things, you're, you're gonna have some support that's coming in, but like for the future, they're saying, start thinking about like this idea of being able to, you know, channel your energy and channel your willpower to um and set intentions to draw what it is you want into your life because you truly are a magnet you know you're a magnet and you can magnetize whatever you want towards you um and they're saying that like you're going to be safe this weekend um this protection card's coming out again um and like they're just this is what you're going to be doing is resting up this weekend getting strength um you truly have left a, left a difficult time behind there's there's a message coming through that they're saying don't worry the other shoe isn't going to drop like some people are worried is the other shoe going to drop and they're like no the other shoe is not going to drop it's going to be okay this is this is the energy that the universe is supporting right now and that looks lovely doesn't it so just don't buy into the fear. Don't buy into the illusion of fear because I don't really see anything any of us have to fear here at all. So any more cards for the weekend? Whoa. <laughs> Hang on, my cards just got all weird. Okay. Start delegating. See, this energy is like so interesting. Like there's a lot going on, but we're still supposed to be moving forward. They still are supporting us to like set intentions. There's still a lot of support to try new things. There's there's support like to go, like to, you know, not to, not to be stuck and restless and, and indecision. They're just like, go do it. Like the universe really wants to know right now, like if you're serious or not. I feel like there's an energy, like the, the universe isn't really pushing us. And it's not like testing us, but um, it's like asking us questions like, you know, what do you really want? Like, what do you, how are you really like, what, how are you going to move forward? Like there is support for you, but it's up to you to decide like how exactly it is you want to move forward. And this week and this weekend feels kind of big for that. So they're saying, start delegating, ask others to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So I hope that this message helps you guys and supports all of you out there and that it resonates definitely leave comments and let me know and um i'm available for personal reads if you're interested just check out the description below Whoop. i was just gonna pull one more card from my personal deck but it's already come out for you guys so this is the snake card and it says fear is the mind killer Oh my gosh, this card is so perfect, and I feel like I needed to hear this so bad right now. It says, The changes you are about to make are safe and for your highest good. Make sure you have set clear intentions on what is wanted. Be sure of the direction you would like to go in. Meditate on the next step. Opportunities, healing, change, and an important transition into all of these is now before you. So, um... Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a message that what you want is coming. So I'm sending you guys love and light. Um, I'm off to do more personal readings for you guys. Um, my Tuesday people, my Wednesday people, my Thursday people, my Friday people, you guys are all going to get your readings. Um, I got a little behind, but I think I messaged some of you guys about that. But yeah, you guys are all getting your readings and I'm so excited to continue to see what flows through for you. There's some, been some beautiful messages coming through. So sending you guys love and light. Peace out.